Brady. Yeah. Yeah. Brady. He's over Brady. A lot has happened after last time we saw you. On our way up north, we made it to Pittsburgh, New York State, and Vermont. We visited some friends and got ready to cross the border to Canada, something we've been talking about for years now. Good morning. <laughs> so our original plan was to um, head to Acadia National Park, <clears throat> but there is a storm coming, Debbie. We thought it could be a better idea to just head up to Canada and make our way to Nova Scotia like we've been talking for so long. Yeah. If we go to Acadia, um, we're gonna have to be waiting you know, for the rain to pass. So we just rather spend those days in Canada. <laughs> wow, there is a lot of road noise. And it's so early. It makes me feel like it's late. But anyways, I'm gonna enjoy this morning and my tea and the birds and the cars. <laughs> After realizing that we could actually make it up to Quebec in a few extra hours, we reserve a harvest host's spot and enjoy the last little bit of good weather with some fruit wine.
came into Canada, we've been basically just driving far from the bad weather. So um, this is the second night we spent in Canada. So we spent a night in Quebec, but we woke up super early and basically got dressed and left because there was a bunch of rain coming. Uh, we made it to just outside of a little town ca called, what's the name? Monktown? Monktown? Monk now it's 7.54 and we're driving to um, our destination. And once again, we're running away from the rain a little bit, so that's why we're leaving so early. Um, so yeah, but pretty exciting. Right now it's not raining, it's not too windy. Así que, vamos que se puede. Allá vamos, Nova Scotia. Every year, some of Aidan's family goes up to Nova Scotia and stays for the whole summer at their beach house. This is a special place where you find beauty everywhere and an amazing community. The normal routine involves multiple ferry crossings, local farmer's market visits on Thursdays, where we even got to meet a Chilean. Because you know, there's always a Chilean out there wherever you are. Her name was Loreto, and she sells classic Chilean sweets. We spent a month in Nova Scotia, enjoyed delicious foods and drinks, and played lots of Skittles, which I think is one of the coolest games ever, and everyone should play it at least once in their life. Being in such a beautiful place with family wasn't only a real treat, but also an incredible opportunity to explore new places in our home on wheels. They didn't get it. The glass was. In the next days, we had the chance to hang out with Aidan's mom's good friend Teresa and started planning our next adventures officially. While watching for the first time and driving up to Cape Breton Highlands National Park. To cross to the island where we're going, we have to go through two ferries and 
we made it to the first ferry so now we are just waiting it's very foggy um but let's see it's 1 p.m and our tour is at 4 30 p.m so hopefully <laughs> are you okay i just put my foot in the, the usb part. so hopefully um Hopefully we won't have this much fog, but we'll see. Pretty excited. Fingers crossed we see something. Once in Breer Island, the sun came up and we were ready to go. This expedition from Mariner Cruisers Well and Seabird Tours was 55 Canadian per person and it lasts about three hours. No fuimos. A ver ballenas. Out in the deep sea and fog, the search for whales began. It was incredible how close these giant creatures were from us. Getting more and more comfortable, we got to see up to six wells at once. Coming soon, part two of our journey in Nova Scotia. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful! Ah! Taking a shower for the first time.